In the midst of a famine, Isaac sought refuge with Abimelech king of the Philistines in Gerar. The Lord instructed him to stay in the land where he was instructed and promised blessings for his descendants. Isaac's wife, Rebekah, was questioned about her relationship with him, leading to Abimelech accusing him of being his sister. Isaac, fearing he might lose his life, resisted and ordered the death of anyone who harmed him or his wife. Instead, Isaac planted crops in the land and reaped a hundredfold, becoming wealthy and having many flocks, herds, and servants. The Philistines envied him, so they stopped up the wells his father's servants had dug during his father Abraham's time. Isaac moved away from them and settled in the valley of Gerar, where he reopened the wells he had dug in his father's time. In the valley, Isaac discovered a well of fresh water, but the herders quarreled over it, leading to the name Ezek, Sidna, and Rehoboth. He continued digging wells, claiming that the Lord had given them room to flourish in the land. From Beersheba, Isaac went to Beersheba, where the Lord appeared to him and promised blessings and increased descendants for his servant Abraham. He built an altar, called on the name of the Lord, and his servants dug a well there. Abimelech, with the Huzath as his personal advisor and Phicol as his commander, came to Isaac and asked for a treaty between them. They agreed, and Isaac made a feast and swore an oath to each other. The next day, Isaac's servants discovered the well they had dug and named it Sheba, which is now Beersheba. When Esau was forty years old, he married Judith and Basemath, causing grief to Isaac and Rebekah. 